Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Rodan. So okay, of course, I'm, I'm going to be talking about some horror movies for our trouble. So it's under, under the bed, which yes, I purchased from the dollar store. Yeah, I got it from there again. So, oh boy, this is not good. Absolutely not. So what the hell? Oh, it's you again. You're supposed to be taking a shower? Uh, you realize the water's not on, right? Yeah. You're supposed to do things. Uh, what are you doing? Uh, you need to get out of here. Go and get. Anyway, and of course, Mr. Monkey, what are you doing? You're, gonna, you're acting all weird. Anyway, this film actually received some good reviews. What the hell have, have you been smoking? How did something like this get good reviews? I don't know. So, okay. It's just stupid. So you actually thought this was a well-made film? I don't know what you have been seeing, seeing here. This is definitely not a good movie. It's boring. So it's, again, a boring bad movie. Oh, boy. Out of all the things you have to be, you have to be a boring bad. Oh, boy. Just, wow. Okay. A failure right there, folks. Yeah. Yeah, I, I keep shopping there. Okay. Anyway, as always, folks, I have to talk about the plot. So, let's get into it, shall we? So, here we go. So, our main character had been dealing with living with his aunt following the death of his mother. So, a bit of tragedy there. And it is implied that he had attempted to burn... The house down. He is just, as you can say, returned to live with his father and new stepmother, of course, and younger brother. So, although, although everyone seems to welcome him back, of course, let's just say a certain somebody, his father, is very much hostile. And, yeah... The there was like a creature thing, of course. When and I'm pretty sure her, uh, I'm pretty sure you hold up to hold. Uh, don't look under the bed because of some monster or whatever. I think I think they're trying to use that as a storyline here. I guess trying to do like a creature feature around that. You know, when it comes to kids looking underneath the bed, look for the monster, or whatever. I think this film is trying to play into that. Oh great, you still around? Oh boy. Yeah, you better question your life's choices, like I am right now. Yeah, deep regret this. And what the hell? You're just spazzing out again, aren't you, Mr. Monkey? You're a slacker, and you're spazzing out again, like you typically do. Anyway, let me finish with this, will you? So I'm guessing that this is supposed to be one of those times that there is a monster underneath your bed, and it's out to cause havoc in your life, I suppose. So, okay, if anything, it's the, it's the execution of this that uh, really ruins it. Maybe it could have been good. It was better than this, obviously, but unfortunately, the, the way it was handled, it was definitely, it was definitely a, a bad way of doing it. So, of course, if anything, the, the film, Under the Bed, is attempting to basically pay homage to those a bunch of other child themed horror films that preceded in the way back when, I guess. We're trying to use a certain idea, trying to make a story around this kind of thing, I guess. I don't know, what was the ultimate goal here exactly? To bore me? Well, you succeeded in doing so. Hey, hey, Mr. Monkey, you better give me a pumpkin. I need it for your yeah, Halloween and whatnot. Hey, what are you doing? You're drinking my... That's not supposed to be mine. Oh, you're rude. Hey, what are you doing looking through my fridge? Yeah, you, you got some issues, you know that. Both of you. Both of you got issues. I just want to talk about this stupid movie and that lack of creativity that it has because it's lacking. It's like they didn't really care, really, like at all. Well, at, at the very least, they... Barely did, and it shows. It feels heavy, 
very half-assed. And oh, okay, you see, it looks like you won't listen. Yeah, you will not listen to me. I'm trying to give you a warning to go and get, but you won't listen. So here you go. That's what you get. Anyway, you like how dolls are supposed to be for kids. At some point, they're supposed to be selling toys for kids. You know, they're trying to turn that into like a horror thing. So is that what we're aiming for? Something that would be typically associated with a kid. You, know, you would tell kids that, right? You know, don't look underneath the bed or whatever. I don't know. Or, um, I was thought of the closet. Don't look in the closet. That's what the, um, I don't know. Ah, Jesus Christ. This movie is just, I don't know what they were doing, really. What they were trying to do. It's just that, um, and, uh, I don't know. I didn't like the characters, obviously. I did not like the characters in this movie, like, at all. And the story itself, uh, it starts off well enough, I guess, when the, there is this teenage boy returning home after a tragic event that pretty much took his mother's life, I guess you would say. His older brother is happy to see him back, of course. But all the wounds from the past do resurface. And both boys are put in a position where they must choose to finally confront said monster that have been plaguing their entire family for years. So, okay, the idea isn't too bad. Maybe generic, maybe, but you could still somehow work around that somehow. <sighs> yeah. One of the major problems I have with this film is that this film... Under the bed, it can't really seem to decide what kind of horror movie it wants to be exactly. So, like, you have to know at your core what specific kind of horror you want to deliver. And it's clear, clear that this movie isn't short. I need a break. I really do need a break from this garbage. I mean, really. Oh, it's, it's the pain in the ass. Okay. You won't listen either. So, uh, I got some for you. Yeah. Haha. <laughs> and I'm going to Wendy's. Again. Oh, boy. I've been there so many times at this point. I do feel kind of bad for those people who are involved with, I guess, the actors and actresses and whatnot. The people who are involved with the production value. The, like You know, like the set designs or whatnot. I kind of feel bad for these people in some ways because it just comes off like, they had no idea what they had and what they were dealing with, really, because that whoever wrote the script, whoever directed it, came off incompetent because it just felt like the execution was bad, really, like I was saying a moment ago. Anyway, I'll give this film an overall rating of a 4.8 out of 10. It's a 4.8 out of 10 for me. And then, yes, of course, thank you for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh yeah, whatever. Ugh.